In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to do a voiceover in iMovie. Now, I've got a blank project open on my timeline, and I have some clips of our ITCC building. So what I'll do is first select the clips, and I want to put all of those in the timeline. I'm just going to press the E key on the keyboard, and all of those clips will be placed on the timeline for me. Now, I'll go back to the beginning of all the clips that we have, and just press the space bar to play this, and you'll hear some background machine noise in each one of these clips, and that'll be important later on as we edit our audio. But what I want to do is add a voiceover to the beginning of these clips. So let me hit the space bar again, and I'll go back home. And the next thing I want to do is select the voiceover command. You can do it two ways. You can go to the window menu and choose record voiceover. But notice that the shortcut key is the V. So either one of those will bring up the voiceover toolbar. Now there's three little buttons. This closes the voiceover. Notice this one in the center where it says start recording. You'll notice as I stop talking and then start talk talking again, you'll see that it turns yellow. And that's kind of warning me that I'm getting close to the very edge of, of the, the volume level. And if I turn red, that is letting me know that the volume is peaking. Now for this particular setup, I don't have the iMovie controls to control my volume. It's actually a separate uh, device that I, that I use to change the input volume. But this would be where you would change how loud your source audio is. In other words, your microphone. Okay, um, so we'll go in and we'll, we'll back this down maybe just a little bit so that you don't see the peaking as much. Okay, so now we're in the green, kind of in the, maybe a little bit in the yellow as we increase our voice, but this may be a little bit better choice for our voiceover. So in order to start recording, we just simply click this middle button and we will do a voiceover after a couple of seconds. We'll do a little countdown. This is the story of the Information and Technology Convergence Center. Okay, something really very simple. Now we'll play this back. This is the story of the Information and Technology Convergence Center. Okay, nothing very fancy here. What we do notice, though, is that we have audio from the other sources. Okay, all of these have a little uh, waveform, and this one's particularly loud, this beginning clip. So there's a couple of things that I can do. I can, I can go in and actually reduce the volume of this if I want to keep that uh, you know, machinery sound in the video or I can actually take out all of the audio from the clips. So I'm gonna do that just to demonstrate it, but you can adjust the volumes of any of these clips to your liking relative to your voiceover. But let's select all of the video clips. So I'm just gonna click down and drag out and lasso all of these. And then what I'll do is I'll right click on any one of them and choose detach audio. And now all of the audio clips that were associated with the video clips are now separate clips that I can delete as well. So I'm gonna go and just select all of them. I'll hold down the command key to get these last two. And I'll hit the delete key on the keyboard. And now the audio from those original clips is gone. And so I'll go back to the beginning of my video and press play. This is the story of the Information and Technology Convergence Center. And so that all I am left with is the voiceover that is now playing beneath or over top of these video clips. I can add more voiceovers if I need to, um, but that's the basic procedure for how to include a voiceover in iMovie. Thanks for watching.